الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ومن آياته الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر لا تسجدوا للشمس ولا للقمر واسجدوا لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم إياه تعبدون الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس ومن آياته الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر لا تسجدوا للشمس and from his signs is the day and the night is is the minayati uh, al-layla wa nahar is the night and the day wa shams wa qamar and the sun and the moon do not prostrate to the sun nor to the moon prostrate to Allah the one who created those things if it is him you truly worship from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala signs in his creation we see many things here we have a herd of elk here in Washington state in the city in the town of North Bend and these are wild elk and they're here grazing partaking in the rizq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them and although they're fascinating and beautiful creatures they're not to be worshipped and they are a part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's vast and beautiful creation they're from the signs that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala exists. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسِلَ لِيَعْبُدُونَ That mankind and jinn were created for the purpose of worshipping him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these beasts are here for us to enjoy and to reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. That they are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful creation and that in their own way they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those are from the ni'mah of our Lord subhanahu that we are able to when it's it's permissible for us to hunt and benefit from these creatures to use to have sustenance from Allah. That's men that's from the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. And we ask that Allah the Almighty blesses us to benefit from his creation and use it for the worship of him and him alone and, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to reflect to be of those who reflect upon his creation wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam